and good afternoon. Welcome to um, my Tuesday Facebook Live. It feels a bit weird. I'm normally like that way, but look, it's a bit messy that way. I'm still sorting out. I'm in my new office, and honestly, it's been like we've had. Ev I've had every weather th this morning and this afternoon. We've ha I've had boiling sunshine streaming in through the windows and then it's been snowing so my goodness it's been like everything in here but the light's really good um and i'm really enjoying it so far so i'm going to turn the camera around whoopsie oh there we go hopefully we're all right there um and let me see if I can see me on my laptop. Where am I? There I am. Oops, better turn the volume off. Okay, so any comments yet? Yeah, I've got seven of you on. Oh, hi, Sheila. Yeah, so to, let me just tie my hair back. So I arrived with a big thick cardigan on this morning and a T-shirt. And then as soon as I got in here had to um, just have the t-shirt on and now I've got the cardigan back on again. Hi Kirsty. Hope you're all right. Okay. So today, there's my scrunchie and the camera. <laughs> so today I thought, oh, hi Nanny, I thought that I would re um, visit, that's the word I was looking for, my boho indigo medley which is at the front of the current catalogue i think it's on about page i'm guessing page eight or something um let me find my catalogue hang on Let's see if i guessed right <laughs> page nine nearly Okay, so it's on page nine, and um, I did a class on this last year, which was a really popular, um, got a lot of views, and the papers are beautiful in it, and um, the medley was £65, and you got the stamps, the dies, the papers, the ribbons, the die cuts, embossed bits, um, and it's now reduced to £39, it's 40% off, excuse me. I've got the biggest yawn. Um, so I've checked and it's still available if anyone wants to order it. Um, and I thought I'd share with you what, what you get in the kit and everything. Now it coordinates with Misty Moonlight, Night of Navy and Very Vanilla with a tiny bit of garden green, actually. So it comes in a box. Um, hi, Kath. Oh, hi, Karen. It comes in this white box. Now, please bear in mind, mine has been rifled through and used for a class. So this is the stamp set and it's like these gorgeous vases. Um, and then here are the dies. So you've got like little dies um, for ferns and things like that and then you've got the actual vases themselves okay in there so that's the stamp set and you've got some nice sentiments a bunch of birthday love to you a thank you sorry you're feeling blue such happy news so some nice sentiments and then you have two lots of ribbon you've got this gorgeous like red edge grow grain ribbon oh i've got lots of you coming on hi karen hi kath hi Anne. hi marjorie okay so you've got um i've got a lot of this left so we need to use a bit of this today and then you get this gold ribbon which again is very lovely bit a bit narrow with this one okie doke and then, this is my favourite bit, I have to admit. And please bear in mind that this has been totally picked through and used. There's a couple of card bases in here, actually. 
Um, right, let me get out all the, the bits that have been cut down and try and find full pieces for you to show you. Right, you do get these lovely little paper flowers, which are very useful. And then you get lots of lots of these die cuts. Now, those are very, very useful. You see, I've still got four sheets left. Trimmed in gold. Gold. The papers are just the best. Hi, Diane. Oh, hi, Sarah. Some more um, die cuts there. These are what I love. I love these ferns. They are just fabulous. Fabulous. And then you've got these embossed panels, which are just stunning. And, and these are very vanilla, by the way. Not white, but vanilla. Okay. And then the best, the bestest bit. Ah, the papers. We all love the papers. Now, the papers are all tones of blues. It's like a, a oh, what's that Dutch, um, is it Delft pottery or something like that? But they're a bit willow pattern, a bit like that. But I love that one. I just love these, look. They're just so lovely. Um, so it is an amazing value at, at £39 for all this that I've shown you. There is obviously more because I've used at least two of these sheets of die cuts. Um, you get 48 sheets of the paper and I ran a class on this and as you can see I've still got so much left. Um, and what you can buy is if you just... We're looking at the Boho Indigo, Sarah, which is still in the annual catalogue and it's reduced over here in the UK from £65 to £39. Would you like one? Um, so if you don't want the whole thing, I mean, it's not as good value, but if you just love the papers and um, the die cuts, then you can purchase the refill kit and you get the 48 sheets of paper you get the six sheets of the embossed vanilla and you get six sheets of the die cuts, it's two of each. And then you get 40 paper flowers. So if you just like the paper goods, yeah, then that's 21 pounds and that's available. Um, oh, I need to type um, for Kellyanne because um, Kellyanne is deaf and obviously doesn't get um, I'll type her a message. Kelly on there. Hopefully she sees that. Right, so I thought I'd do some um, some cards using the papers and stuff to show off these amazing papers. Um, so let's choose a nice one. Well, they're all nice, aren't they? Um, I really love this one. That's my favourite, I think. I like both sides. Don't you love it when you... Don't you hate it? I mean, when you like both sides and you don't know which to use. Okay. Oh, I've got scraps here, look. Nice scraps. Let's let's um, cut into this one. And I'm going to use some Misty Moonlight, I think. So it goes with Night of Navy or Misty Moonlight. Okay. Oh, hi, Donna. So I've got um, some of those out and I've got a trimmer. So 
if anyone of my local ladies would like one of these, then I am placing an order probably tomorrow because I need to close off my uh, coffee and card. Um, okay, I'm going to do a standard, standard design, which I always do. People are probably fed up of me doing this, but it's one of my go-to designs. So I've done a standard um, A6 card and then I'm going to cut some 6x6 paper down. That was 12.3 and then I'm going to cut it to 7.5. Okay. And then what you do is you cut this down in 2.5 centimetre um sections well you could just cut the three 2.5s off straight away but this is my go-to one of my go-tos okay and i'm going to grab some vanilla now i did grab some where did i put it hmm what i'll do is i'll use this I've just found this. I'm going to cut this 12.8. And I think I cut this to 8.5 now. I'm doing this from the top of my head. Oh, I don't work on the big screen on Facebook. Yeah, I do this. I do this design all the time. I've done it on team training. I've done it with every paper going. Um, now that doesn't. The only thing is, I've got my jigsaw mixed up. Ah, that's it. Yeah, that matches now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just a little design that I like. And um, with three strips of paper. And I've previously die cut some of these um, tasteful labels that I thought I could use. Or don't forget, we have the die cuts from here. I don't know if these are going to be big enough for what I want. I'm going to investigate. No, they're a bit more like little labels. So anyway, narrow labels. Let's find some glue. Yeah, it is, it's a good little layout. I think it, I think it was actually from Mary, oops, Mary Fish. From the fish. That I got this. Cheers, Mary. Oops, used a bit too much glue there. But hey ho. How's Australia? Oh gosh, Sarah, we're so jealous of the Easter pics where you're all together and everything because it's just so. It's dragging. I don't want to say dragging on because it makes me sound like. Mrs. Fisher, yeah. <laughs> I knew there was something to do with it that you girls call them. Um, when I say it's dragging on here, I mean, I am, I am a rural person and sticking to the rules, but oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's been a, a slog. It's been a slog. We're allowed to sit in gardens now up to six people. Which would have been fabulous had poor Evan not been having to isolate as his best friend has COVID. Yeah, it is bad. It's, yeah. Ooh, that jumps out, doesn't it? <laughs> Maybe, you see, that for me, that ribbon is quite bright. We could pop a bit of that that on it just to just to tone it down. I don't know. 
I don't know. Quite like the gold. Yep, Sarah is back inside the house. It would only been back at school for... It's snowing here. Can you believe these little snowflakes coming down? Um, it went back on the 9th of March. Had to isolate once. And then got sent home last Thursday. It's allowed out on Friday this week. Um, the boy, Donna, his friend's mum had it. Um, he, yeah, his friend's mum had it. He came back into school, had tested, had isolated at home with his family, tested negative, did the isolation, came back to school, had a negative test, sat next to Evan at school, went home, did his, did another test because they're supposed to be on set days and that was positive and he's not come back into school. But then Evan got sent home the next day. <clears throat> that Evan is negative. He's not got any symptoms, but he's told Evan that he's very, um, very, very tired. And he's just spending a lot of time um, sleeping. So, oh. just testing his stamp because I've not used it in so long. A bunch of birthday love to you. That's what I'm going to use, I think. Admit it's nice to use a little bit of um, a little bit of put that up there vanilla instead of white. Yeah, I know the family have been stuck in now. So I thought maybe have a little bit of these behind, a little bit of green and then. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe what's just happened. There's, there's a big bird, I'm not kidding. It's massive and it's sat on the windowsill here and it's just tapped. Did you hear that tap, tap, tap? It literally just tapped on my window and looked inside. Oh my goodness, I've, I've got a bird friend. Why me? <laughs> oh man, it absolutely scared the heck out of me. I thought, what is that tapping on my window? I thought it was a window cleaner. I looked round and it was like something from a horror film. That's Sarah, that was a bird tapping on my window. Psst, with its beak. Its beak was a big, as big as a Tombow glue, I swear. <laughs> oh, oh, maybe I've got a new friend. Is it a magpie? It could be a magpie. Oh man, please, please not. <laughs> right. <clears throat> Thought we'll have a few little um, leaves like that. I, th <laughs> I thought I had a visitor. Oh man, Sarah, can you believe it? It was just sat there as bold as brass. I mean, I would have taken, I would have got my phone out to take a picture, but I'm using it to film. How fire. That freaked me out a bit there. I don't know if I need these white flowers on, I'm not sure. Hey, Linda. I'm just laughing because I'm in my new office. I'm in my new office and um, this bird has just tapped on my window and was sat there and frightened the heck out of me. Goodness, honestly. How funny. How funny. <laughs> See, Sarah heard it all the way over in Perth. <laughs> so, Linda, I'm just showcasing the Boho Indigo because it's on offer. I don't know if you've got it reduced in um, South Pacific but we've got it on offer over here. So I am, um, I found it. It took me 10 minutes to find it. Hey, Aussie friends are on. New office, new wildlife, yeah. 
Um, yeah, it took me um, 10 minutes to find it. <laughs> and then I thought I'll showcase it today. Little bit of uh, boho love. <laughs> Honestly, it freaked me out, that did. Whew, I'm all, I don't know what I'm doing now. I'm all a dither. Right. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. I've lost my phone pads. Maybe the bird got them. Over there. <laughs> oh dear. You missed the tapping. Well, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be finding it again, Nanny. Honestly. <laughs> I wonder if it'll come back. That's the first time it's happened. In fact, my this was my uh, my friends, they're in another office, they've moved. Uh, um, this was their office, so I'm going to have to go ask them now if they had any uh, bird visitors or maybe maybe it's just, maybe it just likes me. Well, they used to open the windows all the time. <laughs> oh, man. So nice little simple card uh, sharing the show, showcasing the papers there and um, how nice they are, how nice they are. Um, so I've got this other card which I should make use of. Um, I'm going to score it and have it the other way oh he's wondering what the lunch is the lunch was pretty poor today sarah i've only had some yogurt and fruit not really a lunch and a diet coke um so there's slim pickings here oh what what lunch time <laughs> Maybe they fed him. I don't well, they've never told me about a bird. Anyway. I thought I'd do a card like this one. Um do you remember I did this one a while back? It's similar. But I thought I'd do something like this. They're just really nice, easy ones to do. Um oh I need to grab my ruler. <laughs> They're really nice, easy ones to do and um, use up your, the cat only, <laughs> oh gosh. They're really nice cards, so that's three and a half by, it looks like eight. Yeah, so it'll be four by eight and a half. So I thought maybe I'll do that. So three and a half by eight and I'll find some nice paper to use with it. And I've used that one already, so let's let's take a look. Oh I think I might use that one. I like that. Okay, let me see what I've got. Oh these papers. Just beautiful. I've still got loads, loads of this left. So, three and a, did I say three and a half? Yeah, I think I did. Three and a half by eight. Some um, 
I need to do some background. So that would be four by eight and a half. It's a good value kit. Linda, have you got it on offer in Australia? It's really good offer, right? So those can sit on there like that. There's a bit too much glue there. What time is it, Sarah and Nanny? I always ask you this because we've we've changed now. Just before nine. Oh yeah, seven hours, we're just before two. Oh, it was so cute. I don't know if you saw Sarah, but the little boy next door, my friend Ronnie, oh, he's so lovely. He's three and a half, but honestly, it, it, it looks like he's five and a half. And um, I did a little Easter chocolate hunt for him on um, Sunday. It was so lovely for him to come in the garden, first time ever, <laughs> with his mum. And um, it was just really nice. And I did him all these chocolates and I made him a little rabbit. Um, what's the word? A little treat holder for him. It was just so lovely. Really, really nice. Um, that's going to be a bit big, I think shame because I've got two of those hmm. Hmm, could do a double there actually anyway um, yeah it was just really nice to um, to do something it was felt lovely he was a bit overwhelmed at first when he came in because I don't think he could quite believe that it was in our garden. <laughs> Something as simple as, as that, it's like, seemed like a massive um, luxury. I think I was more excited than Ronnie. <laughs> Yeah, but I don't know what sentiment to put on it, Sarah, because I don't know if the sentiments in this set are big enough to fill it, so to speak. I don't know to grab one from another set. Oh, I know what would look good in it. I know what. I know what would look really nice, so I might pinch it. Yeah, I'm going to mix and match, because we're allowed to do that. Well, Nanny, I did on um, I did on my YouTube this morning. I did sort of a quick um, little recce this morning on my coffee and card. If you want to have a look on there, um, I've still got a few stuffs, stuffs. I've still got a few things and stuff like you know what it's like in box. I need to bring. I've got a table in Ronnie's garage that I need to bring over that they're kindly looking after, and I need to buy a unit. Um, for this wall that's got nothing on it at the minute. Um, but yeah, I need to sort a few bits out. I've just decided to use Now I can't believe that this lovely set 
isn't carrying over that Dina designed. And I love the happy on this. So I think I'm going to use that and mix and match. Oh, now, this was the one where I where I left the birthday, lost the birthday, and um, I left it at home, and I put the birthday in another set to bring it here safe, and I don't know where I've put it. <laughs> so we'll do happy for you, yeah. We can do that, can't we? Man. Do love this stamp. I did a really lovely class with this. No, it's not, Sarah. It's not carrying over. But I think it's going to happy. It's going to look beautiful in there. Oh, it's just going to fit absolutely perfect. Perfecto. I thought it would be a surefire one to carry over. Seriously. No, this is just going to fit in here like perfect perfection. Wow, I've 22 on this afternoon. Yeah, dye would have been nice, Wendy, but it would have still been faffy. That's a bit ombre, that, but never mind. Look, look what we can do. Look what we can do. We can grab one of these. Little die cuts. Hmm. Hang on. Where's that come from? That little thin one. There we go. We can do for you on there. I thought, did I get for you out? Yeah. And it looks that one too. <laughs> Happy for you. I think my Misty Moonlight needs reinking. I did just get my reinkers actually for it. We've had awful problems in it, in Europe with the refills. So I thought I'd use one of these. But I might trim it down. <laughs> I might, oh, I could do it like that, actually. It needs some flowers around it. So, let's make the most of this kit and see what we think with a bit of gold. Hmm, got a bit poking out, oh, like that. Oh, I, I, I predicted that one, Wendy. I predicted the, uh, the classic label. I call it the fence punch. It's like a fence shape. I might actually use the last of these. Um, I'm just playing about. This is what I do. I just um, get my stuff and just think right does that work does that work I think the happy needed to be a, a touch higher up but that's all right we'll use we'll use that um, I do like these um, these green leaves very nice just to 
do a little bit of something really easy cards you see you can always cut them off if that's too long so I'm just I like to just place stuff and see what I think let me move that for now place things and see what I think you see that's going to be far too big just have a little bit like that sticking out maybe have that one over here I don't know I'm not right happy with this one <laughs> I'm not right happy. but it's fine because um, it's just off the cuff I think it would be better if I stamp my happy a bit higher up so I actually happen to have a spare one of these so I think I might try it again and just do it a, a touch higher um, Sarah let me look I've got those paper ones that I thought I might add on actually you know these ones, I thought I might dot some of these around, you know, with the little beads on and see what they look. Are you going to help me design it, Sarah? Right, let's grab this back. I've no greenery left. I've used all my greenery. See, I'm happier with the happy being higher. Ah, I'm happier with that now because the happy is higher up. I can do the for you there. I'm actually happier with that. Um, hang on. Let's move that and then stick these leaves down. I, can't, I still can't believe that bird. So I'll just keep moving this back and checking that I'm happy with the positioning of things. Like that. Let's pop this on with foam pads. Yeah, well, that's my friend. I'm going to go, guess what I'm going to be doing, Ali, after I've finished on here. I'm going to be going straight into asking that if they had any bird friends. Oh. Well, I'm just going to put the two on, Leslie. I'm not sure it would feel right just with one flower on. What on there? And use a smaller one there. Like that. 
that. Um, What do we think like that then? Oh, bigger flower like that. Answers on a postcard. Right. So if I'm doing a small flower, what I do is I take the flower off, pop the glue on the card and then take the flower back to the glue. Oh, bless you, Sheila. I'm not really a bling. I'm not a big um, blingy girl, really, as in jewellery and stuff. I don't have much jewellery or use much. Just making sure they're stuck down. Oh, hi, Mel. Oh, thanks, Debbie. Oh, Mel likes the two gold flowers. You see, we can't please everybody. <laughs> Anyways, look. Could have put that one on there. But anyway, so it's nearly quarter past. I normally do 45 minutes. So I have made two cards with the Bovo Indigo. Still on offer, 40% uh, off, so... If you're interested, then do send me a message or you can go on my um, you can go on my online store and order it and use my monthly code and you'll get a free gift next month. So let me just move those down. Um, oh hang on, I've got um, I think I paused then because I've got a I got um, a low battery message so it paused things so there we go there are today's makes and thank you for joining me um i've had quite a few people on this week so that is lovely i will be popping the video onto youtube um so if you need the closed captions it will be better for my customers who need that and i will be back on youtube on thursday night doing paper crafts and piano so i hope you can join us then and see you then thank you to my australian friends for joining and I will see you soon. Bye. Bye-bye.